Hello! Uh, in today's video I'm just going to be showing you my Pokemon game collection. Um, I don't have all the games, but I do have quite a few. I think I have like 19 Pokemon games. But to get started, I'll show you this one. This one here is Pokemon Blue. This is Pokemon Yellow, and I'm counting Pokemon Rumble World. But yeah, Pokemon Blue was my first uh, Pokemon game that I had when I was a kid, but I don't know what happened to it. Again, I think someone stole it, which probably did. Uh, moving on to the third generation games, I have here Pokemon Ruby. Oh boy. Focus. Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald. Uh, all three of the the battery is dried up so the clock work events don't work, but I can still save the game. Um, I think I have one badge and Pokemon Ruby, eight badges and Sapphire and eight badges in emerald, which emerald is just an enhanced version of ruby and sapphire. I don't have leaf green or fire red. Um, I really do want to get those, but I have not come across any. Now onto my DS games. I have Pokemon Diamond. A lot of the, my DS Pokemon games I had to draw a case on because, I mean draw a cover on, because staples wouldn't let me print out the covers because of copyright. But there's Diamond with Pearl, the twin game Pearl. There it is right there. And then I have Platinum which is in its original case. It kind of bothers me that I had to draw, draw the cases on, but once I get ink, I'll print out the normal covers. Soul Silver, right there, and then I have here Hort Gold. Which, there it is. Now that completes my 4th gen games. Moving on to the 5th gen. This, this one I did a terrible job at. This is Pokemon Black. There it is right there. And the last 5th gen game I have is Pokemon White. There it is. Right there. Um, the last Pokemon DS game I have is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Darkness. I don't know if it's just me, but I find this game really difficult. Oh boy, focus. Oh, I'm gonna focus. Oh well. Extremely difficult to play, and then I got bored of it, so I stopped playing it. Uh oh, I lost one. Moving on to the sixth gen games. I have here Pokemon X, which I have eight badges already. Twin game Pokemon Y, I have six badges in here. And this one, which I really do like the newer Pokemon games. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I think fun, you know, fun play, and it's nice that you get to customize your characters. Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. I have six badges in this one. Yeah. And Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I only have one badge in this one. And then the last game will cross the room. Last Pokemon game I have is in this mysterious black case. 
it's just Pokemon Art Academy, which this is really hard to find this game around in my area. Like I went to Play and Trade, GameStop, and I just I was lucky enough to find it find it at a GameStop like five miles away from me. And I really do enjoy this game. Uh, but that's all my Pokemon games. I do want to get a uh, crystal. And I'm not really worried about getting the original first gen games on carts because I'm just going to get them on digital from the eShop store. Uh, but I do want to pick up Fire Red and Leaf Green. And I'm also going to get. Uh, one of the Pokemon games, Sun and Moon, the new ones that are coming out in November. So please leave a like and comment which one do you think you're getting on November. Are you going to pick up Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon? Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video.